Incredibles 2 plays it extremely safe. It follows all of the original's beats. Superheroes are illegal, main character starts secret hero work for a big company but spouse feels weird about it, company turns out to be bad, and they all have to work together to beat the villain. To be fair, since so much time has passed since the original, a similar story might have been the best move. Adult moviegoers fueled by nostalgia might have been too rattled by anything other than a paint-by-numbers sequel. I can understand the low-risk storytelling from a producer's perspective, but the pacing and the villain really left me with a hollow feeling. In the first movie, we saw well-delivered exposition, Mr. and Mrs. Incredibles wedding, and Bob Parr's amusing stint as a civilian. Here, Elastigirl is the protagonist, but the first act impatiently hurries past her character to introduce a boring villain. Screenslaver's dialogue is full of fake edgy social commentary, and the identity in question is painfully predictable. But the worst part is the paper-thin motivation, glossed over in a quick flashback. In the first movie, Syndrome wasn't a great bad guy, but at least he had a pre-established connection to our protagonist, and a nice little reveal. Many people have already said this, but it seems like movies for kids now are either blandly inoffensive and aimed at young children, or gritty, depressing young adult stuff, with no in-between. So it's refreshing to see a fun movie for kids that has drinking, one allotted swear, and high-stakes action peril. It's no coincidence that Brad Bird also directed The Iron Giant, another animated movie with a more mature feel and the same Cold War nostalgia. It's also nice to see confident and committed art direction. The mid-century modern look doesn't only serve the set design, it also makes the action sequences more kinetic. I'm glad there are still talented people out there making animated movies that don't have that generic, big-eyed, Sony DreamWorks art style. Incredibles 2 lacks a lot when it comes to the writing, but it's still better than your average all-ages fare.